This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Okay, welcome back to second quarter action here in Manton as we have the Frankfurt Panthers leading the Manton Rangers 20 to 12 here in action right now. That was uh, rule on that carry brought down by number four, Griffin Kelly. And we are looking at a third down. Fourth down. So fourth down, we're in Frankfurt Panther territory, maybe at around the 42 yard line. Uh, appears that Manton is going to go for it. So what the heck with the way the offenses have been rolling here, Mike, huh? Yep. So fourth down and about four. Manton getting set. Takes a snap, hands it off. Jaden Perry, and he's hit in the backfield. So a big stop by Frankfurt. They're going to get some pretty decent field position out of this on a change of possession. Okay, this is 26 Sports and CCTV at the Manton Athletic Complex. And we've got quite a game on our hands here, Mike. Yes, we do. If this quarter is as good as that first quarter, there'll be lots of scoring tonight. Yeah, absolutely. But I think uh, the jitters are out. The teams are settling down now. Oh, yeah. The fans are into it. Right. Okay, we've been waiting all summer for this. All right, Frankfurt ready. And the, looks like an official's timeout. Or maybe Frankfurt called a timeout. Timeout no. Okay, Rangers took that timeout. Didn't like what they saw. So they are going to regroup on defense. Now if that leaves them with uh, one timeout left for right. the uh, for the half. Okay. Again, we want to let you know that our upcoming games next week, uh, 8.31, will be St. John's at Cadillac and Kingsley at McBain next week on MI News and CCTV. Yeah, and what a broadcast we had last night at the Cadillac game. Uh, opening the season off, we had Big Rapids visiting Cadillac, and, uh, you know, Big Rapids got up on them early. Uh, took a 14-point lead uh, early in the game, and Cadillac came scratching back, kind of evened things out a little bit, ended up tying it up in the third quarter, and the uh, game ended up eventually going into overtime. So we got a little extended uh, play last night, and Cadillac won in overtime. So I believe that was, uh, I don't know if that was 20 to 14. I think they do the extra point. Handoff. Keeper up the Keeper. middle, and they were on to that, and he didn't get anywhere. Maybe a couple, maybe two or three yards on that carry. That'll bring up a second down and about seven from the 46. Number 55, Dallin Otto for Manton was on the tackle. They are in the pro set again, Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. Takes the Myers snap. rolls out to the left, completed to. That was number two, Connor Smith, Jr., one of the Panther captains. And not quite enough for a first down, so it looks like it's going to be third and a long three here, just into Manton territory. So we got a split. Split receivers on each side. Frankfurt operating out of the shotgun tonight. There goes one in motion. On the keeper, stopped by a host of Manton tacklers. Loss of one. Big stop right at midfield. Stopped by number 55, Dylan Otto. That is going to bring up a fourth down and about, well, a lot, maybe a four here. Dylan Otto on the tackle again. 
And so what do you do from the 50-yard line, Mike? Do you punt? Doesn't look like they're even thinking no, about it. No, they're not going <laughs> to punt with the way the offenses are going tonight. All right. He takes a snap, hands it off hands to off Griffin Kelly. Kelly. Spins through the middle and good for about eight yards. Number four with the ball carrier. Down at about the 42, maybe 43-yard line. That's good for a first down. So turned out to be a good call for Coach Stapleton. Frankfurt getting set here in that pro set. A little bit of motion. Keeper, and it's up in the air. He's got number one, Matt Loney. Loney brought down at the 13-yard line. Caught Manton by surprise just a little bit there with the uh, fake. Looked like they were biting on that all the way. That's the third long pass to Loney tonight that mm. they have completed. Yeah, and he's got some height. Rice. Okay, so first down for Frankfurt from the 13-yard line. Pitches out to Kelly. Griffin Kelly, and he is stopped. Like number nine, Gavin Summers on that tackle. It's going to make it a second and maybe nine. We got just under eight minutes here in the second quarter as Frankfurt is on the move again, pushing deep into Manton territory. We have three receivers to the left, one to the right. Myers, Snap. Myers keeper. Up, right the, up middle. the middle. Meyer, the keeper. Looks like he stopped short of the first down. We're on the five yard line. So that Sol is going to bring up third down. Solani and Otto on the tackle. Here. Here's the snap. Up the middle again. And oh, he's awful close. I think his knee went down just before he got to that goal line. But looks like uh, first down nonetheless. So the Panthers are going to be first and goal. Keeper up the middle. And either feet or inches. The first and goal from the one. First and goal from the one. Takes a snap, hands it off. That's Griffin Kelly up the middle, and he is in for the touchdown. So Frankfurt starting to build on their lead. That makes it 26 to 12 with the extra point conversion coming up or the two point conversion. Looks like they just as well go for two each time. I mean, why go for right. one, eh? Right, they may not have a kicker. So they're talking it over. So big play here, these two-point conversions. I mean, it might come down to this at the end of the game. Right. They've stopped a couple tonight. They're rolling. Rolling out and just too far. Back so. For number one, falls the score, All right. So we've got 26 to 12 with 7:04 left in the second quarter, and Manton or uh, Frankfurt once again showing. Uh, Showing their strength on offense here, Mike. Right, right. They've got mixing up the running game and the passing game real well. Yeah, they're keeping them off balance. Yep. <clears throat> how, about a, how about a word on our sponsors? Okay, again, we want to thank our sponsors. Again, Cadillac Casting, Cadillac Tire. Get all your tire needs taken care of there. Lake City mat Materials. The Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Napa with locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids, Pizza Plus, and Dua Glass. Oh, that Pizza Plus. Mm, I'm telling you. <laughs> the sandwiches and uh, pizza from there. Oh, if you haven't been there, you got to get over there. Very, very good. Okay, so the teams are getting set up here. Coaches are having one last little talk with their special teams. And Frankfurt is preparing to get ready to kick it back off to Manton. 
Frankfurt was unsuccessful on the little squib kick last time. Uh, onside kicks uh, somewhat. So I'm sure the uh, front line of Manton is going to be ready for something like that again. Right. We have Rule and Jaden Perry. Hunter Rule and Jaden Perry deep for Manton. Got Myers kicking off. The kick and we get a little delay here. I don't know if somebody might have been offside. Offside on Frankfurt. So they'll kick over. Going to set them back about five. <coughs> so we will do a re kick. Getting set up. Uh, linesman's got to pick his uh, flag up over there. All right, here we go again. Let's try this. And the kick going to the left side of the field this time. That's Rule over there. Thinking about picking it up. He does pick it up. Heads towards the sideline, and Frankfurt has it covered. Looks like at around the 33-yard line. So Manton is going to start this series uh, in their own territory. At the 33 yard line, first and 10. Loney, one of the Panthers on that stop. Had his name called quite a few times tonight, having mm -hmm. a good game. So, first and 10 from the, looks like the 34. And time for the Manton offense to see if they can uh, rebound here. Right. Coming up to the line. Loney ready to take the snap. Takes the snap. Uh, fake handoff. Keeps it. He's rolling around the left side. Just tripped up by number one Matt Loney again. Looks like a little loss on the play of about maybe four yards. So a nice defensive play on that. Almost looked like he was ready to pass the ball. Yeah, he was. Didn't have a receiver. So that'll bring up a second and long. Looks like about 14 from the Manton 30. Got one split out to the right. Takes a snap, and he's looking for him on the in. He does pass it. Oh, oh, diving diving effort and just wasn't able to come up with it. Would have been a nice catch. Wouldn't have been a first down, but would have uh, certainly chipped away at that 14 yards. And we've got a Manton player slow to get up. That's Rule. I don't know if there was a late hit on that. He doesn't appear to be happy. Coach Stapleton is out on the field because one of his players is down. So this would be a good time to uh, thank our our crew again. Okay, uh, tonight's game on 26 Sports and CCTV, our director is Morris Langworthy. Our replay is Eric Watella. Our camera, first camera one is Wyatt. That's Van Nynen. Van Nynen. Play-by-play, -play, Jeff Costello. And color, Mike Maxwell. Camera two, Remington Hernandez. And camera three, Jacob Owens. And they do a wonderful job. Absolutely. We've got a good camera crew here and director. Uh, we bring a real nice program to you. We've got the two cameras down on the field and up in the stands. Uh, it's a pretty nice setup. I know they did some hard wiring over in Cadillac over at uh, Veteran Memorial Stadium for these games, so that makes it nice and easy uh, to get set up. And we've got quite a few football games to bring everybody this this uh, this year. Now, next week, what do we got, Mike, coming up next, next week for next games? Next week we have uh, St. John's at Cadillac and Kingsley and McBain. And then the following week, 9-8, we have Petoskey at Cadillac and McBain at Lake City. Again, we're bringing you two games a week. Plenty of high school football. All right. 
So one of the players is still down on the field here that they're attending to. We certainly hope that nothing is serious. He's setting up now. And I did uh, did hear from uh, Coach Stapleton this year. They've uh, you know Frankfurt has been on quite a roll. Uh, Coach Stapleton's been in Frankfurt for 20 years, and they have actually made the playoffs 20 out of the last 22 years. Uh, mm -hmm. Lost to I mean that's they're just consistent program over there Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. They've always been a powerhouse. Uh, certainly a challenge here for Manton to open up with. Uh, with a team with Frankfurt's uh, reputation and and uh, pride, they did come within 10 points of the, in their game last year, but uh, lost to the Panthers. Of course, the Panthers uh, went 11 and one last year yeah. in their playoff run. And next week's game uh, will be mis uh, current state champion Muskegon Catholic Central at uh, at Frankfurt. So that should be a barn burner. Right. Okay, we're ready to rejoin action here as Rule steps under center. I'm out, Frankfurt. <laughs> Almost, and yep. Frankfurt takes a timeout. So, looks like they, uh, well, he was attending to his player, maybe didn't have right. time to get everything all set up with his players. Wants to make sure that he's got everything where he needs to have it. So we're looking at uh, third and 14 uh, for Manton. And we've got 6.08 left in the second quarter. You can hear the band in the background. Miss Michelle Nuffer is the band director here at Manton. I think we're going to be hearing a little bit of them at uh, halftime. Again, just a reminder, all sports are produced with a cooperation between the Wexford Masaki Career Tech Center, CCTV, and MI. News. Also, students run cameras, graphics, and instant replay supervised by a pro director. That's just a great program there. Yeah, it is a really good opportunity for kids. Uh, I know some of them have uh, moved right on to from, the, from that program at the Career Tech Center and gone on to uh, Central Michigan University. They've got a nice program over there. So it seems to be working out real good. Okay, here we go. Ready to rejoin action. Takes a snap, pitches it out. Jaden Perry around the right side. Boy, and he's Looks quick. Looks like he got a first down, but there's a flag down. Yep, there is a flag in that old holding area yep. around the corner. So we'll take a look at that. But, boy, he's got some jets on him. He really gets out there fast. Looks like he lost his helmet. I was checking to see if his head was in his helmet when it came off. I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> but anyway, I'll we'll have to see what the flag is. They are discussing around the Frankfurt bench. Looks like they're going to give them the option. Because they could really set them back. Or they could decline it. I don't know if they're going to want to decline it. Well, let's see here. Now they're talking to Manton. Possibly a face mask? I I didn't see no preliminary single. I didn't either, but with them talking to the Manton player here, giving them a choice. We got to get the signals. <coughs> All right, so it looks like it is being... Against Frankfurt. Against Frankfurt. So I don't know. I'm guessing maybe a face Perry mask here. Result of Perry's run is a first down. Rangers first and ten from their own 45. So turned out good here for Manton as they have a first down at their 45-yard line. Manton declined the penalty and that gave him the first down. Okay, so that was the discussion. You're right. Probably a field field position issue. Right. But nonetheless, they've got a first down from the 45. they got a stacked house in the backfield. Takes the handoff over to Solani. Solani works his way up. Not much there, maybe a yard. Nice stop by Frankfurt. 
Going to make it second down and probably about a long nine, long eight or nine. Solani, the ball carrier, stopped by 65. Solani has been busy tonight, both on the offensive and defensive end side of the ball. So Manton comes up to line, second and eight. Still a stacked house in the backfield. He takes the snap. Fakes it. He's looking to throw. He's got somebody open. Oh, he's got a couple, and he hits Solani. That one's good for about six or seven yards. Loney in on the tackle, along with Griffin Kelly for Frankfurt. First down, marker, number one, Loney. First down. No, no third not, down. Third yeah, third down. down, about one. Nice pass completion there. And haven't been a lot of flags tonight, but there have been a few. No. Okay, here we go. Third and one. Guy in motion. Takes it. That is number five. He gets the... Jaden Perry. Looks like he's good for the first down. Okay, so Manton's got a first down. They're eating up some ground now right. as we have 5-11 left in the second quarter. That will give them a first down at the 45-yard line of Frankfurt. As they approach the line and get set. And a rule takes the snap, hands off up the middle. Not much there. Looks like maybe one. So Andrew Manning in on the tackle for Frankfurt. So they're mixing it up a little bit here. That brings up second and a long nine. Ball is shaded this side to the field a little bit. So we've got the wide side away from us. As he approaches the line, they're getting set. Number 14, that is Ethan Ansick out. Pass to Pass. Ethan. He's got him. He's got him. He's still on his feet and brought down inside the 10 yard line. Number 14, Ethan Ansick. Boy, he just throws it out there and lets him run underneath it. He's a tall kid. Uh, on a roll to Anton. Nice pass. Well, he throws a nice tight spiral, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Manton on the march now. Threatening there inside the 10-yard line, maybe at the 7, which is going to end up being a first and goal from the 7. Hand off over to number 4. Not much there. The host of Panthers on the stop. Jacob Hahn on the carry. That's the sophomore. Not much there. Looks like about uh, second and five. So Manton trying to cut this lead. Rangers will have it second and goal. The five. All right, here we go. As they approach the line, second and five. Well, second goal from the five, I should say. And Rule takes a snap. Keeps it. Rolls Looking to the for right. Some room on the right side. Another cut. Cut back. And he's in for the touchdown. Nice carry by Hunter Rule. Didn't quite look like he was going to get in, and he's no. kind of squirmed his way through some uh, defenders there. So nice run. Okay, and that was with 2.54, just a little bit under three minutes left here in the second quarter. So Manton <coughs> trying to bring that deficit down to a single touchdown. They have also been going for the two-point conversion tonight. We'll see what Coach Waddell comes up with here for the two-point conversion. 
an all-important two-point conversion also. Yes. Boy, these are the big plays when points are on the line. As you said earlier, it might come down to one of these conversions. Yep, exactly. They got a full house there. Fake. He's rolling. Puts it up oh. in the air. That's Ansick. Jumps up, and he's got it for the two-point oh. conversion. So Manton comes back and brings the deficit within six. So we've got a Frankfurt 26 and Manton 20 here with 2.54 left in the second quarter. Boy, what a, what a game so far, huh, Mike? Oh, man. Bet a lot of scoring, both teams. Yep, there is. I think there's going to, as, as halftime comes comes to play here, there's going to be some defensive adjustments trying to be made to uh, put a stop to these, these offenses. Yep, I think uh, defensive coaches are going to have their work cut out for them at halftime. It's going to make for an interesting second half, although we still got a lot of time left here in the first half. There's all kinds of time left for scoring. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> in this game. Yes, there is. Oh. And the Manton players trying to fire up the crowd. Have a nice crowd here tonight. Yeah, there is a real nice crowd. But naturally, it is a beautiful night for football. Absolutely. Starting to cool down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't see any winter jackets out there, but no. uh, <laughs> certainly some sweatshirts. Right. Well, it's really nice for the players also when it's right. nice and cool like this. Okay, here we go. Ready to kick off. They try Onside a side kick. kick. And just jumping on it. Probably went maybe just a little further than they were hoping for. Right. But it was worth a try. So Frankfurt jumps on the ball to be about at their own 40-yard line. So they will start first and 10 from there. Again, we have Frankfurt 26, Manton 20, 2.53 left to go in this first half. And we'll see if Frankfurt can answer Manton's last score. Getting the play in from the sideline. They got three split wide here. Takes it, fakes it. Myers passes pass. to Loney and oh, almost intercepted. And a flag on the play. And I, I'm honestly not sure if this is going against the uh, offense or the defense. You do have, well, let me see. You know, you've, everyone's got a, a chance at the ball, and Loney was kind of, uh, yeah, Loney was kind of crawling on his back to try and get the ball. Yeah. But really probably a smart penalty because right. I think it would have been intercepted had he not done that. Right. So not a real bad play for the, uh, Frankfurt. Rule had it in his hands, mm -hmm. and then Loney went over his back. Like you said, it could be a good penalty for him. Yeah, exactly. That's way better than a turnover. Right. Especially at midfield there. So not a bad play at all. I mean, you do what you got to do. Okay, so that brings up a second and 20 from Frankfurt's own 30-yard line. As they're split out to the right here, hands it off to Kelly. Kelly. And He's got a little bit of room. Solani trying to bring him down. He was dragging him with him for just a little bit. Couldn't grip the cleats into the ground to get him down. Uh, Solani and <laughs> Braden Perry in on the tackle for Manton. Now there's another flag. Yeah, and this looks like it's a dead ball flag. Uh, I don't know. We could have some unsportsmanlike conduct, possibly. Not sure what happened there. Refs are pointing in the Manton direction and starting to walk it off. 15-yard penalty against Manton. Wow. Yard penalty. So that, that actually brings them into Manton territory and starting first down from looks like about the 46-yard line of Manton. So that was a big play before half. The ref over talking to Coach Waddell. 
Coach Waddell has been coaching here in Manton for the last four seasons. Says he's enjoying it and living here, being in the school district, all that. It's a beautiful area to live. All right, talking it over with the refs. Well, and you'd like to know what's going on. You know, if something was said or right. whatever it happens to be, he can pull his players aside later and talk with them. Here we go. It takes a snap. Looks like Myers. they're passing. Setting up a screen, screen, a middle screen. For Kelly. And it's another first down. Gain of about maybe 14. So a nice little center screen there. Jacob Hahn in on the tackle. For Manton. First screen we've seen tonight. Right. You usually see a lot of those in high school football. I've always liked that play. Yeah. Yeah. Again, three receivers to the left, one to the right. Oh, there a little fumble. fumble. Manton appears to be happy about the situation, and as we get the ref's call, it is definitely a Manton ball. So a nice big stop for Manton. A little bit of a miscue. Uh, recovered um, by number 52, Cole Holmes for Manton. That gets the crowd fired up. That's the first turnover tonight. Yeah, it is. So we dodged a turnover here a few plays ago. Right. Ball gets a little slick sometimes. Yeah. Manton now, first and 10. Okay, plenty of time left. We've got 2.03 left in this first half. I believe they only have one timeout. Mm. Takes a snap, pitches it back to Jaden Perry. Perry. And he is stopped for no gain. Clock is ticking. Didn't look like a gain there, so it looks like it's going to be second and 10. And that is from their own 34-yard line. Manton going into a huddle here as time is ticking away. They're going to have to think about stepping it up just a little bit. They're going to try and make a march to get a score here late in the uh, in the half. Takes the pitch. It's got room to throw. And nice completed. catch. That is number 44, Caleb Milky, on the catch. Boy, him and Ansic, right. tall, tall, tall receivers out right. there. Hard to cover the big guys. They're big targets. So that brings Manton into Frankfurt territory at about the 47-yard line. It's 109 left on the clock. Got a split left here. Goes back to pass. Rolling he's around. There's a lot of pressure, and he's sacked all the way back to the 36-yard line. Nice play. That was 55. Uh, Thomas Seipert. Time is still ticking. We got about 45 seconds left here. As Manton's thinking about what they want to do. Manton they used all their timeouts, okay. so they're out of timeouts. That's why they can't stop the clock. Well, and they might play it safe at this point right. in time, you know, instead of trying to uh, get yourself in trouble here. You probably have time let it for one tick more away. play here. It is a six-point game. They could try a little one last pass trying for the end zone, but I don't know if I'd get too cute. No, there's a blitz. <coughs> oh, they hand off a to Jaden Perry. Break in. Got a little room. Mm. Gets over midfield, but I think that is going to end up doing it. So that brings the first half to conclusion. So we end the first half with Frankfurt 26 and Manton 20. You're watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. And as we break into the halftime show here, we are going to have the Manton band uh, out onto the field. And... Director Michelle Nuffer is going to have the marching band out there. And can you give us a quick recap here uh, before we go into halftime, Mike? Yes. Okay. okay. In the first quarter, there was uh, 
Five touchdowns scored. Um, Jaden Perry on an 80-yard TD for Manton. Then we had Kurt Myers on a six-yard TV, TV, TD. And then we had uh, Myers on another six-yard TD. And then we had Myers on a third TD of five yards. And also we had um, Hunter Rule on a keeper in the first quarter on a six-yard TV TD. And then in the second quarter, we had a TD, um, four-yard TD by Perry. And then we had a six-yard TD by Hunter Rule and a two-point conversion by the Manton Rangers. The score is 26 to 20. Okay, so you're watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. We will be back in a few moments for second half action. Ranger marching back. 